Once you know what labour pain is, then you can learn how to manage it. Labour pain happens due to a combination of both physical and emotional factors. It's mainly caused by the contractions of your uterus, which is a muscle, as it works to birth your baby. These contractions can cause intense pressure and stretching of your muscles and tissues, and this can lead to discomfort and pain. So think about when you go to the gym. Like labour, pain from working your muscles at the gym is a healthy pain. It's a muscle working and it's a muscle getting tired. If I asked you to take a one kilogram weight and do some bicep curls for 30 to 60 seconds and then have a break and then repeat the bicep curls again every 30 to 60 seconds for 10 to 20 hours, the bicep muscle is going to be tired and extremely sore. You're going to need some mental techniques to help you overcome and move through that pain to keep going. The same with labor. Labor pain is healthy pain. It's a muscle working, contracting over and over again and getting tired. So as well as the physical sensations, labor pain can also be influenced by emotional factors such as fear, anxiety, and stress. Having these emotions during your labor can increase the perception of pain and make your labor more painful and difficult. This is why you need to learn lots of different techniques to help you manage your fear, anxiety, and stress during your labor. Now, all or most of the techniques that you learn in hypnobirthing and other childbirth education programs are based on using distraction. Distractions are a very useful technique to help you to reduce the perception of your labor pain by shifting the focus away from the pain of your contractions onto something else. So by engaging your mind in activities or thoughts unrelated to labor, distractions can help reduce your brain's processing of pain signals, making the pain feel less intense. You already use distraction to manage pain. For example, when you stub your toe, the first thing you'll feel as you hit your toe is intense pain. Then you might swear, which would be the equivalent of vocalizing during labor, hop around on your foot during an active labor, you would move around and change positions and you'd rub it, which is the equivalent of this in labor being massage. This is all to distract you from the pain. Perhaps you've experienced healthy pain in other ways. So if you're a runner in a running race, if you're a cyclist, if you're a swimmer, what do you do to overcome the pain you feel when your muscles start to fatigue and hurt, but you know that you have to keep going? What do you do in the gym or maybe during, during an intense cardio class to overcome that pain when your muscles are burning and you just don't want to give up and leave that class? Now, labor pain is just another type of healthy pain that you must learn to manage and get through. The worst thing you can do during a contraction when you feel the pain of a contraction start to build is to focus on the contraction, to tense up, to resist it, to start to feel afraid, but continue to still focus on the contraction anyway, then panic, and then of course, you'll increase your perception of how painful that contraction is. Instead, there are lots of distractions you can use during your labor to help you manage your labor pain. We'll just go through a couple of quick examples. So the first is learning focused breathing. So techniques like deep breathing or pattern breathing, so breathing in for five, out for 10, can help you to focus your mind and provide a sense of control over your labor pain. Visualization techniques can also be used to create a peaceful or calming scene in your mind that can help you create a mental escape from the pain of labor. Listening to music or affirmations or meditation tracks can help create a soothing environment and give you that mental distraction from the pain of your labor. As well, gentle or what's called light touch massage from your birth companion or doula can help relax your muscles and provide a really great sensation that can distract you from pain. Massage also releases oxytocin. So that's a hormone that will help you to reduce stress and anxiety during labor. And massage also increases your serotonin and dopamine levels. These are two hormones that are known to contribute to feelings of happiness and relaxation. Importantly, massage decreases cortisol levels. So that's the hormones associated with stress, which you want to minimize during your labor. Massage also helps to release beneficial endorphins. So these are hormones that act as natural painkillers during your labor and give you a feeling of euphoria. 
Hopefully you're aiming to have an active labor because movement like changing positions, walking or rocking in a chair or on a birth ball can help distract you from labor pain and encourage the progress of your labor. Another technique is guided imagery. So this involves imagining a pleasant scene such as a beach or garden in your mind to help create a mental escape from the pain. So basically labor pain is just your uterine muscles working and getting tired and sore and one of the best ways to manage labor pain is to use distractions to help you focus your attention away from that pain of labor and onto more positive and calming experiences.